I'm sure that by now you are tired of hearing about fields and you are probably excited to learn more about real analysis, the, the core of this course. And, and that's what I will start in the next video. However, I do have to pause and mention uh, a very, very important theorem, which, which I'll just call theorem, theorem completeness point one. So C point one. So this is, you could say, this is a consequence. This is a consequence of completeness, of completeness, completeness. So uh, note, I'll just put a note here. So what is this theorem? The theorem states there is, there is one and only one complete ordered field. Wow, this is loaded with so much definition, but if you have arrived to, well, to this video, then you probably have a solid understanding of what completeness is, what an ordered field is, and what a field is. So this unique ordered field is called the real numbers. We have just finished constructing what the reals are. This is what the reals, well, if, if, if you had to explain it to, to, to an alien, this is these three things is what you need to sh tell them that this is what the real, the real number system is. And this is the only field, this is the only this is the only ordered field that is ordered and complete. Okay, so I won't be spending time proving this theorem, although you could you in the in the previous video I I showed you the Archimedean the, the, the Archimedean property. So if you wanted to prove this, the proof will can be done with proof. So can be done can be done can be done using the Archimedean, Arca, Archimedean property. So, if you just wanted to prove it, then this would this would be a very good exercise for you, and and it's a start. You may have to use some other theorems and properties or consequences that we have discussed in the previous videos. Okay, so this theorem tells us that just as any number system obeying Piano's axioms is, you know, really the natural numbers, any complete ordered field is really the reals. So, so let me let me write what I said. This theorem basically says this. So, so we know that anything, anything, anything following Piano's, Piano's axioms is in reality, axioms is in reality the natural numbers. And you can, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you might want to check out my video that I have done before. And in, in, in that video, I talked about Bertrand Russell's example where he defined, where he defined one as the empty set and the successor of, of one. So the successor of this empty set was the, was the set of this empty, of this empty set. So similar to this, anything, so anything that is ordered, that is ordered and, and uh, complete in reality, that is the reals, okay? So, so anything following Piano's axioms, is really the natural numbers. Anything that is ordered and complete is, you know, the, the reals number system. So what is this? It follows the nine axioms, the nine axioms of a field. It follows the three axioms of ordered fields, and it follows the one axiom of, of completeness. So the complex numbers that we discussed are not uh, complete uh, are are not complete in this sense because they are not ordered. 
there is a better, more general notion of completeness, which does describe uh, the complex numbers um, as, as not missing any points. So, so some people in in, in some textbooks, uh, the, the completeness, completeness, so completeness is thought of as not having holes, as not having no holes. You your number line is complete, so no holes. So that's why the rationals fails this because if you look at it, you will see a hole. So so let me let me blacken out those spots. You will see a hole at square root of two, uh, a hole at square root of five, a, a hole at the, you know square root of negative one, and 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 so on. So let me just write that down. You will have a hole at a square root of negative one. Well, you don't really have a hole. That's just not defined. Actually, I should not. I should not do that. So if that's zero, and there's a hole, which you will see at square root of two, and, and you will see a hole at square root of five. Why? Because square root of two is not rational. It's irrational. So that's supposed to be a double, double lined Q. And square root of five is also not an element of the rationals because square root of five cannot be denoted with, 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 with the numerator and the denominator. On the other hand, the reals, the reals are filled everywhere wherever you see a hole in the in the in the rationals the reals are you know are filled there so if that's zero that's your square root of two it is existing it is an element of the reals similar to square root of five it is an element of the reals this is why they used to this is why they taught you this and not the other number systems from grade one to grade 12. it's 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 because the reals don't have any holes Okay, so now we're ready to discuss calculus. And soon enough, we will be learning about what sequence is. So, so let me make a new slide for, for, for this because you needed everything that we have done up until this point to understand sequences and series. So if you want to learn more about these, and keep watching this playlist.